Okay, so come back to another another uh, your problem. Then we'll see that your what you call that uh, RL circuit and this, right? Now, so in figure uh, figure I'll come to that. In figure 51, the switch has been closed, right, for a long time, and uh, and is open at t is equal to zero. So you have to do, we have to determine i and v for all time, right? So it is given that switch has been closed for a long time, and that means this switch was closed for a long time and your I mean it was closed for a this switch was closed for a long time and at t is equal to 0 this switch is open right. Now, question is this one the one uh, your this 100 volt source is there, but one step input is also there here that is 50 ut volt right. So, in general your when you write 15 of ut that is, is equal to your e this this one is equal to 0 when t less than 0 and is equal to 15 when t greater than 0 right. So, in the, in the in that case that means, in general your in general your u t actually is equal to 0 for t less than 0 and it is 1 for t greater than 0 right. So, that is why this 15 u t your what is equal to 0 for t less than 0 that is your what you call the past history. That means, let me clear it. So, that means, the switch was closed for long time. Uh, so, in this case what will happen uh, that is your for t less than 0. So, in that case what will happen that 15 u t right. So, is equal to I told you it is 0 for t less than 0 and it is 15 for t greater than 0. That means, in that case what will happen this is this is your what you call this is this was closed for a long time and that means, this this 50 unit voltage source actually this is becoming 0 that means, it will be like this right. So, just join it because this thing is actually is equal to 0 because switch was closed for long time right. So, as switch was closed for a long time that means, to this and this 100 volt DC source is there this is closed that means, this capacitor will act as an open circuit right. So, from the I mean if it acts as open circuit that means, that the switch was closed for a long time that means, your V c that is V, V c is equal to say V right is equal to 0 minus sorry 0 minus is equal to this 100 volt right. So, this is uh, your what you call this is your uh, V c 0 minus and at the same time you can easily and as as this 10 ohm and 20 ohm are in your what you call are in parallel right because because this voltage is zero so it is short i mean just for the purpose of explanation so and uh, your what you call is easily you can compute i because this will this is act this will act as an open circuit so equivalent circuit is shown i have i have drawn it here right so in this case everything is written there whatever i said everything is explained here right it is 15. So, in this case what will happen the circuit will be like this. So, this this is capacitor was there it will act as an open circuit and this is I and this is 10 ohm and 20 ohm are in parallel and this is 100 volt right. So, V 0 plus your V is equal to 100 volt and I will be equal to minus V by 10 that is minus 10 ampere actually you if you I mean just one minute if you uh, if you uh, try to find out this i the direction is taken in this way direction is taken in this way. So, if we say that uh, you know just for your this thing this voltage and this volt this plus minus voltage means this is the voltage v right. So, this is plus this is minus. So, it is basically what will happen 10 i if we move like this 10 i plus v is equal to 0. So, i is equal to minus v by 10 that is equal to minus 100 by 10 that is equal to minus 10 ampere right. So, let me clear it. So, in this case that is why it is given I is equal to minus V by 10 it is minus 10 ampere and the capacitor at capacitor voltage I mean if you look into the circuit when switch is open at T is equal to 0 the capacitor voltage that means, as soon as it is open it this voltage source should not be there because it is disconnected and that is at t is equal to 0 it is open. So, for t greater than 0 this 15 volt step input will be here and at the at the and capacitor voltage cannot change instantaneously. So, in that case what will happen V 0 minus is equal to V 0 plus that will be your 
100 volt. So, now in this case 15 volt source is there and this is 10 i and this is your uh, V 1, 1 upon 4 farad. Now, after a long time I mean if you look into that that uh, the since the, cap since the capacitor voltage cannot change instantaneously. So, V 0 is equal to V 0 minus that is 100 volt. Now, for T greater than 0 the switch is open and the 10 volt source is disconnected from the circuit that I told you then this 15 U T volt source is now operative and the circuit it is like this. Now, at steady state if you if you look into the steady state that means, what will be your V infinity. Suppose, at steady state this capacitor will act as open circuit that means, circuit will be something like this right this is your 15 volt this is 10 ohm this is your 20 ohm and this capacitor is acting as open circuit at steady state to the DC. So, in that case what what will happen this V V S S is equal to actually V infinity is equal to is V this is your V at steady state. Now, as you can easily as this is open circuit. So, this is your 10 ohm and this is your 20 ohm. So, you can easily find out what is the current I through this circuit this I is given it is open circuit. So, I is actually is equal to 15 divided by 20 plus 10 that is 30. So, is equal to half ampere that is your I right then what is V infinity then V infinity will be that is a steady state value this is open circuit this I car is flowing this I is half and it is 20. So, that is equal to your 10 volt right. So, V infinity is the 10 volt right. So, this circuit is drawn for you. So, in this case your this is V infinity is equal to 10 volt. Now, when you will find out the your R thibnin. So, R thibnin means your uh, for getting the thibnin I, I showed you the circuit this is for looking from this point you have to find out at that time you have to short this one. So, 10 ohm and 20 ohm are in parallel right. So, you have to short this. So, in this case your R thibnin will be 10 into 20 by 10 plus 20 right. So, it will be 200 divided by 30 is equal to 20 by 3 ohm right that is R thibnin. Therefore, time constant tau will be is equal to C into R thibnin. So, C is given your 1 upon 4 farad. So, it is 1 upon 4 into 20 by 3. So, that is is equal to 5 by 3 second this is the tau right. So, let me clear it all these calculations are there, but I am making it such that. Uh, so, in this case uh, your this is tau that is 5 by 3 second and R thibnin we got 20 by 3. Now, we know this formula that V t is equal to V infinity plus V 0 minus V infinity e to the power minus t upon tau. So, V infinity we got 10, V 0 is equal to 100 and V infinity 10. So, 100 minus 10 into tau is equal to your 5 by 3. So, it will be e to the power minus 3 t by 5. So, V t will be 10 plus 10 into e to the power minus 3 t by 5 volt right. Now, from figure 53 i is equal to. Now, if you come to figure your 53 that i is equal to. So, so one thing is there that this voltage this voltage V means no other element is there. So, same voltage will impress across your 20 ohm resistance. So, so, so this current say it is I 1 and through this capacitor say it is I your I C then I 1 will be say V by 20 this is I 1 and I C will be this C that this is your C the capacitor C into d V by d t right. That means, I is equal to your V by 20 plus C into d V by d t right. So, let me clear it. So, if you from that only we are writing this equation that I is equal to V by 20 plus C into d V by d t. So, that means, your what you call that you put that expression of V right. So, every time I am not writing that your V t and V t if you want you can put it this is V t, V t, but it is understandable it is understandable right. So, put the expression of V t here this expression you put it here right and take the derivative of this one. So, this is the second term that C is equal to 1 upon 4 farad into d V by d t right. So, let me clear this. So, in this case your I is equal to 
uh, after uh, your uh, making simplification half plus 9 by 2 e to the power minus 3 t by 5 minus 27 upon 2 e to the power minus 3 t by 5. That means, I is equal to half minus 9 e to the power minus 3 t by 5 ampere. Right? Note that this V plus 10 I is equal to 15 is satisfied. If you if you if you go to this circuit, right? Your uh, your uh, go to this circuit. I mean, uh, if you uh, your uh, suppose I want to apply KVL, right? I, I want to apply KVL. So this voltage V means suppose if you, if I make it like this, this voltage V means it is 10 I plus V minus 15 is equal to zero. That means 10 I plus V is equal to 15. You check it it will be satisfied right. So, let me clear it <coughs> sorry. So, that is why it is written this is this is actually satisfied. Therefore, for all t v is equal to 100 volt that is your v 0 minus is equal to 100 volt for t less than 0 and 10 plus 90 to the power minus 3 t by 5 volt for t greater than 0. And similarly, for i for t less than 0 it is minus 10 ampere we have computed and for t greater than 0 it is half minus 9 e to the power minus 3 t by 5 ampere that is t greater than 0. Right. So, another way now this is I hope you have understood this things are not at all difficult one right. So, another way of looking at the complete response is to break into two components one is natural response and other force response. Uh, I mean the response has two things you can break it one is natural response and other is the force response right. So, we can also cite the total complete response. So, complete response is equal to natural response that is stored energy that is your source free circuit that is the natural response we got plus force response that is independent source may be voltage source or current source independent source right. So, let that means let me clear it that means V is equal to natural response V n plus force response V f this is the equation 59 right. Therefore, equation from equation 48 it can be rewritten re written as I am writing here equation 48 from equation 48 we, we are writing this actually equation 40 somewhere I am writing say here here V t V t is equal to this equation was equation 48 V s plus your uh, v s then your v, v, v 0 uh, your you take uh, v 0 common right then 1 uh, your 1 minus e to the power minus t upon tau right. I mean just uh, just uh, this equation this equation you can you can write that v 0 uh, uh, it is 1 uh, your what you call it is v 0 then into your uh, just 1 minute e to the v 0 e to the power minus t by tau then plus v, v s then V 0 will be uh, your uh, just one minute let me let me make it here. This is V 0 e to the power minus T by tau plus V s minus V s e to the power minus T by tau right. So, that is actually is equal to your V s plus V 0 minus V s e to the power minus T by tau. So, it is V uh, 0 minus your uh, sorry let me let me clear it let me clear it let me clear it. So, it, it, it is actually your V s right plus V 0 minus V s e to the power minus T by tau that is your that is your equation 48 right. So, this is actually V infinity plus V 0 minus V infinity e to the power minus T by tau. So, if you that V 0 e to the power minus T by tau you write it here and there V s minus V s e to the power minus t by tau you take V s common. So, it will be 1 minus e to the power e to the power minus t by tau right. So, that means that V n the let me clear it that means the V n that is your first term is V 0 e to the power minus t by tau that is natural response for source p circuit we have seen that right for source p circuit we have seen that and this is actually we call force response that is some uh, that is due to that external force that is your nothing but that your voltage source right. So, this is actually V n and this is your V f. So, V n is equal to V 0 e to the power minus t by tau the natural response and V f is equal to V s 1 minus e to the power minus t by tau that is your force response right. So, let me clear it. So, this way 
this equation your equation 48 can be written in this way. So, th this is equation 59, 60, 61 and 62. Therefore, natural response V n is already expressed in, in section 6.2 that we have done it. So, V f is known as the force response because it is produced by the circuit when the external force is applied that is in this case it is a voltage source right. Now, the current response of parallel RC circuit. So, now consider that your this circuit that is your parallel RC circuit, but a current source is there. So, in this case also it is it is it is I u t is given and you know that uh, you you know that uh, u t is equal to it is 0 for t less than 0 it is 1 for t greater than 1 right. Therefore, my I u t is equal to 0 for t less than 0 and it is I for t greater than 0. So, a step input right and is a parallel RC circuit. So, let me clear it. So, if it suppose uh, suppose uh, when uh, your what you call that uh, when uh, for t greater than 0 right. So, I u t will be is equal to I because u t is equal to 1 right. So, in this case if u t is not there for t greater than 0 say then it represents by say, say, say for your understanding it is I right and if that is your what you call if the state if the circuit has reached steady state then this will act as an open circuit this will act as open circuit that means the voltage across this capacitor V c that is we call it or what you call that is your steady state response or your uh, that is V c infinity right. So, in that case V c will be V steady state is equal to same thing V c infinity and this I current will be flowing like this. So, it will be is equal to I into R. Right, I hope this is understandable to you. So, in this case, so in this based on that and tau is equal to your time constant that C into R. Right. So, using this natural response and force response, we will try to obtain the your what you call expression of the your voltage or current what, whatever you want. So, let me clear it. So, in this case your so initially that is why I told you that V C your and initially we assume that initial uh, voltage of the capacitor was V c 0 is equal to V 0 that we are assuming it, it may be 0 also, but we are assuming that V c 0 is equal to V 0 right and a steady state I told you V c infinity is equal to I r. So, we know this from equation 648 that V c 2 uh, sorry V c t is equal to V c infinity plus V c 0 minus V c infinity to the power minus t by tau right. Therefore, V c t is equal to I r V c infinity we have got I r plus V 0 because initial value of capacitor uh, we assume it is charge at V 0. So, V 0 V c infinity is I r. So, V 0 minus I r e to the power minus T by tau or we can write V 0 e to the power minus T by tau I mean this V 0 into multiplied by e to the power minus T by tau then plus I r minus I r e to the power minus T by tau. So, take I r common 1 minus e to the power minus T by tau this is equation 63. So, V n is natural response that is V 0 e to the power minus T by tau like a source free circuit and V f is equal to force response that is I r into 1 minus e to the power minus T by tau right. So, after this so this is a simple parallel R c circuit with a current source right step your step input right. So, now next is the step response of an R l circuit. So, this is the circuit this next we will go for step response of an R L circuit. So, in this case that figure 55 shows R L circuit and may be replaced by the circuit shown in figure 56. So, this is your this is your R L circuit suppose that T is equal to 0 the switch is closed right. So, uh, this is a your what you call a simple the way we consider R C circuit here also it is simply R L circuit this is L and a uh, voltage across L that is inductor is V T right and polarity is marked L i sorry plus minus and this current i is flowing. Now, your in general in general when the switch before moving further before moving further when the switch is closed it will be like this and a steady state this inductor act as a short circuit right a steady state inductor acts as a short circuit and if this is the current i that means, a steady state i infinity will be V s upon r right that is of course, t greater than 0 after switching the switch is closed right inductor act as your what you call that as your short circuit 
capacitor acts as open circuit to steady state to of DC. So, let me clear it. So, this circuit it can be redrawn like this that is it will be V step input V s u t and R and this is L same as before V t at same thing it is same thing that V s u t right is equal to your 0 for t less than 0 and it is equal to V s for t greater than 0 right. So, that is why this is written as V s u t. So, let me clear it. So, our objective is to find the inductor current I, this is the inductor current I right. Uh, as the circuit response, we will use the technique that equation 59 to 62, that is this equation through 59 to 62, that means, uh, this uh, your what you call this uh, this equation, these equations that for 59, 60, 61 and 62 using using this V is equal to V n plus V f similarly we will apply for I is equal to I n plus I f same concept. So, in this case in this case what we will do that we will write I is equal to I n plus I f, I n is the natural response of the current and I f is the force response of the current. So, natural response is always a decaying your what you call exponential right. So, that we have seen that nat it is all. So, we can write I n is equal to say A into e to the power minus T upon tau right and it is LR circuit or say simply LR RL circuit. So, tau is equal to L by R the time constant say this is equation 67 and A is a constant which you have to determine and we know that natural response is always a decay your what you call decaying exponential. So, directly we are right I n is equal to A into e to the power minus T by tau right. So, A can be determined later, we will see that. Now, force response is the value of the current after a long time after the switch figure is closed, right. So, we always know that after 5 time constant that is 5 tau, the natural response essentially dies out. So, at that time T greater than equal to say 5 tau, the inductor becomes a short circuit and the voltage across it, it is 0, right. So, that means I told you initially for this circuit when switch is your what you call for this circuit when switch is closed and place it for a long time. So, inductors act as a short circuit. So, naturally uh, you uh, your what you call you can uh, that your I, I infinity is equal to V s upon R right. So, this is your I f that is the force response this is nothing, but I infinity is equal to B or what you call V s upon R right. So, if it is so then equation 67 and 68 it can be written as I is equal to it is natural response A is equal A into it to the power minus T by tau and this is your force response V s upon R that is a steady state one that is the I in I f is equal to nothing, but I infinity right. So, I f the force response is nothing, but I steady state that is I infinity that is V s upon R right. So, that and we assume let, let me clear it we assume that I 0 be the I 0 be the initial current to the inductor right. We will assume that which may come from a source other than V s. So, we know that current through inductor cannot change instantaneously that means, at the time of switch at the time switch is closed I 0 plus is equal to I 0 minus is equal to I 0 because current through inductor cannot change instantaneously. Therefore, at T is equal to 0 I is equal to I 0. So, in equation 69 becomes that means, here, here your what you call here at t is equal to 0 you put i is equal to capital I suffix 0 right. So, if you do so that i 0 is equal to then you will get capital I 0 you will get a plus V s upon r from which you will get a is equal to i 0 minus V s upon r. This a, a value input is in equation 69 then you will get i t is equal to I 0 minus V s upon R e to the power minus T up T by tau plus V s upon R this is equation 72. Therefore, I t is equal to this term writing first V s upon R plus I 0 minus V s upon R e to the power minus T upon tau right. So, this equation is nothing, but look into that this is I infinity V s upon R is I infinity here right and this I 0 is the initial value that is your I 0 again it is I 0 minus I infinity e to the power minus t, t upon tau same as before right, where i 0 is equal to capital I suffix 0 and I told you I infinity is equal to V s upon R right. 
So, note that if the switching takes place at time t is equal to t 0, if it is at t is if switching takes place at t is equal to t 0, then it will be then it will be that it will be i t 0, because at t is equal to g t 0 you have to get the initial value that is at t 0 that is i t 0. So, i infinity is there i infinity is there and here instead of e to the power minus t by tau here it will be e to the power minus t minus t 0 by tau right. So, if the current i 0 is 0 suppose if initial current is 0 then we can write i t is equal to 0 for t less than 0 and i t is equal to because i 0 is equal to your what you call i 0 is equal to 0 then for and then it is v s upon r 1 minus e to the power minus t by tau if t greater than 0 and if, if we assume the initial current i 0 is equal to 0 this is equation 76 right. So, or we can write simply this this thing because it is t less than 0 t greater than 0 we can make it like this i t is equal to v s upon r 1 minus e to the power minus t upon tau into u t. So, u t is 0 for t less than 0. So, it will become 0 and it for t greater than 0 u t is 1 it will become this thing. So, this two this two your what you call current thing can be combined or uh, can be written in one term that is v s upon r 1 minus e to the power minus t upon tau into u t this is equation 77 right. So, equation 77 actually gives the step response of the RL circuit with I 0 is equal to 0. The voltage across the inductor can be obtained from equation 6 uh, 77 right. So, that is V t is equal to L into d i t by d i upon d t. So, you take the derivative of this one you take the derivative of this one d i d t right if you do so you will get V s upon r into L by tau into the power minus t upon tau, but L upon r is tau. So, tau tau will be cancelled. So, it will be V t is equal to V s e to the power minus t upon tau, but here u t is attached right that means for t less than 0 u t is 0. So, it will be 0 right and for t greater than 0 u t is 1 it will be V t will be equal to V s e to the power minus t by tau right. So, that means if you see this so the step response of i t and this thing. So, when switch is closed for a long time for R L circuit right. So, current is re in your I infinity as is V s by R. So, current is going to the steady state value V s upon R generally after 5 tau time if tau is the time constant it will achieve nearly V s upon R and at for t when t is greater than equal to 5 tau the V s is exponentially decaying. So, it will be your V t is decaying. So, it is gradually going to 0. So, at t greater than equal to 5 tau it will become almost 0. Right. So, this is the current plot and this is the voltage plot for your what you call that is your R L circuit with the step input right. So, this is the step response of R L circuit with I, I 0 is equal to 0 no initial inductor current right a current response and second is the voltage response. So, thank you very much we will be back again.